this mansion looks like a pretty notable building, wouldn't you say? How's it going everyone, it's Fiber Optic Broadbean here, and welcome back to the Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play series. In the last episode, we started our Mad Monster Mansion adventure, and today, we're going to be continuing things off, and let's start by heading to the right over here. I know it's been a while since the last episode, so it's going to take me a little bit of getting used to, uh... But all things considered, I'm feeling I'm feeling good going into this episode, so we should be able to uh, make some headway. Uh, I'm going the wrong way, so it wasn't the best start here. But we can. Uh, uh, oh dear. Okay, this isn't a great display of skill right now. But we're moving over to this hut that I believe we passed by in the previous episode, but didn't actually go into. So today. The contents of this hut will be revealed. For those of you who've played Banjo Kazooie, you know exactly what's coming up. This is Tumblr, and we've got an Ouija kinda looking board here. Greetings, O Solid One, I'm Tumblr the Mighty. Solve the puzzle, and you can take this infernal thing that's stuck underneath me. Okay, so essentially what you gotta do is pretty simple. You just have to spell out. Banjo Kazooie using the letters around the perimeter of this room. I'm looking for an N right now because we've just done B and A. Uh, I think this is it. Uh, where's the J now? There's the J. There's an O. I think if you hit a wrong letter, you lose one unit of health. If that ghost touches you, he also damages you. So you got to be careful. That's uh, definitely something to look out for because. You know, that guy can eat away your health really quickly. But, let's look for the Z now, or Z, if you're American. Uh, then we- oh, I took a hit there, okay. Oh, come on, I gotta jump on the thing, find my feet again. No, okay, took another hit. It's alright, it's alright, we can do this. Ah! Okay. We good, we good. It's gonna be tight, but I think we can, we can still do this. Easily enough. We just gotta get to the I and the E. I before E. Except after C. Especially when you're trying to spell out Kazooie. There we go. We did it, ladies and gents. At last, the puzzle is solved. Take this thing, I'm leaving this gloomy shed. And I believe the ghost disappears now. We're free to collect these notes. And of course, now that Tumblr has decided to leave, we can grab the jiggy from underneath him. So that is number seven, three left. I believe I am certain on two of the locations. The third I'll need to uh, think about a bit. It might be the Jinjo, you know, the Jinjo Jiggy. Oh, I'm being chased by this dude, but I noticed something out of the corner of my eye in my peripheral vision. We have a mumbo token, Ikum Bokum. There you go, that's 30 now. Okay, let's have a look around. We've got a few more notes over here. Unfortunately, my note counter didn't save from the previous episode, so we're gonna have to be uh, careful and get all the notes back. Um, in the meantime, I'm gonna smash the windows that became unsmashed from the previous episode, so I'll be a minute. Okay, with that done, it's time to head to our next destination, which is actually, if we backflip up, into Mumbo's Hut. So, it's transformation time, ladies and gents. We need 20 Mumbo tokens, but we have 30. Let me just grab these notes real quick, and let us transform Mumbo, if you so kindly will. Mumbo has turned us into a pumpkin, ladies and gents. So, ah, Mumbo proud of pumpkin spell. Make good soup. I don't think um, that's the best goal of a transformation, Mumbo, but uh, thank you for transforming us nonetheless. I appreciate your assistance. But yes, as a pumpkin, we can actually fit into smaller spaces than we could as our favorite Baron Bird duo, so what do you say we demonstrate that in uh, a new location? So let's head up here to begin with. 
back to where the hut was. And uh, if we head around, we should be able to go into this murky looking pool as we climb down these stairs. So normally you'd take damage from jumping into here, but as a pumpkin, you're impervious completely to this uh, odd liquid. I'm not sure what else to call this actually. Um, but there's a little uh, hole in the well here. And as you'll see, I believe we were here in the last episode when we tr uh, tried to swim down here as Banjo and Kazooie. But as a pumpkin, you can dodge these tentacles with, with uh, relative ease, as the DK Rap Man would say. Uh, Ekon Bokum, there's a Mumbo token, we can get another note here. But there's also a hole in this bucket here. And if we jump through this hole, we'll be able to uh, not grab a Jiggy because I already got it in the last episode. Okay. Okay, so there's actually a little hole here that we can uh, go through. And that lets. Oh, hold on. Ekon Bokum, there's a Mumbo token. We can't afford to miss those. But yes, uh, through this hole, we'll find that there's a little ramp which leads on to the hedges here. And if we carefully move our way along, we can see that this leads to the top of Mad Monster Mansion. Now, there's uh, a few things for us to do in here, so let's, uh, let's take a look and see what we can do. So in this room, we can actually drop below the floorboards to grab ourselves this extra honeycomb piece and a couple of gold feathers I believe as well, so that's always handy. So, that's pretty neat. I don't think there's anything else under here. Nope, okay. So that's this room, uh, as a pumpkin. You can get under those floorboards to get some sweet little collectibles. Not completely necessary to beat the game, but still pretty neat nonetheless. If we head through here... Ah, leaky the toilet, right. So, let us see what happens. If we jump into the toilet, the toilet, happy landing, little one, he says, and he flushes us down. Oh dear, okay. So we're going through the sewage system right now, and you'll see that there's a jiggy. Not particularly proud of this achievement, but hey, it had to be done. We're going for 100%. Okay, there's nothing else in here except some uh, lovely enemies. Now we can go back up through the toilet. I can't believe you went in there. Something, something, something filthy bear, I'm guessing. Uh, but there's also this hole here. If we drop down, we fall and land directly onto this jiggy here, which is pretty neat. We can grab these notes that are around the circumference of this barrel looking thing. And if we head out, we're back at the entrance of Mad Monster Mansion. So, that's 9 out of 10 Jiggies, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yes. So, we need one more. And I think it might be the Jinjo Jiggy. Uh, we got a few of the Jinjos in the last episode. But unfortunately, that progress didn't save. So... You know, we'll have to get those again. Okay, I'm gonna turn into uh, Banjo and Kazooie once again to make things a little bit easier. And... Should be able to collect everything we're missing now. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's actually a gold feather at the top of here, so, you know, it's just uh, worth the effort to go around and uh, grab it. Because, you know, gold feathers are pretty rare, hard to come by, so... Getting six? Pretty swell, if I do say so myself. Okay. Let us backflip out of here once again. And search for the remaining Jinjos. We have three left. Yay, we got a maze. I love mazes. Uh, I used the gold feathers, man. Why didn't you activate? Okay. This is amazing. The orange Jinjo is right there. It isn't I am truly sorry for that. I, <laughs> I should not have said that. Okay, but there's the orange ginger. Orange boy, so we just need pink and yellow now. I'm just 
kill this guy. I hate these ghosts, man. Okay, so if I'm not mistaken, the pink ginger should just be in uh, one of these. Oh, not this ghost again, man. I, I hate this guy. There you go, he's gone. Oh, where are you, man? I'm waiting on you. You're in one of these, aren't you? There you are. That's pink ginger now. And I'm having a little bit of deja vu, starting to think we actually got all the Jinjos in the last episode. We'll find out soon enough. Okay, so the yellow Jinjo is on top of this bed, and did we get the Jiggy? No we didn't! There it is, Jiggy number 10. So we've collected all the Jiggies in Mad Monster Mansion, all that remains now is the notes. Okay, so I believe there's around 20 left, we should be able to find them all with relative ease. There's four of them right now, so we have 18 notes left. I'll see you when I find some more of them. Goldfeather, hello. Always handy to pick up. You never know when you need them, really. Okay, so if we head on up here now where the well was, uh, we should be able to flutter over- oh no, that didn't work. Okay, let's backflip, backflip. We're safe, okay. Now we can fly on over to the feathers. Hmm, <laughs> pretty neat. Okay. And there's a shock spring pad. Oh, okay. <laughs> I almost messed myself up there, but... We're good, we're chilling. 86 now, so... 14 remain. And, uh, we gotta find them. Okay, so we're back in the Hall of Motzand, and I believe there's a couple more in here. I'm just gonna take this guy out with the gold feather. Really annoying enemies, these ones. Can't stress that enough. So he's gone. So let's search around for some notes in here. So there's one on each of these uh, seating areas. Okay, let's head up to the top now. Uh, there's a note on each of these steps, taking us up to 92. So, 8 notes left. <laughs> Where are they? Oh man, I hope I haven't missed any. We'll find out soon enough if I have. But, they gotta be somewhere. Okay, there's a few on here. I don't know if this will make up 8. Looks like 4 to me, Chief. Oh no, okay. And this is the classic Banjo-Kazooie dilemma. We are missing four notes. And they're gonna be in one cluster. We just gotta find out where. Okay. Let's hop on over to the flight pad over here. And, uh, see if we can head up to the top. Are they there? At the top? Uh, the ceiling? I've forgotten what this is called. Scaffolding? Are there notes here? Eggs. Feathers. Eggs. More eggs. No notes, unfortunately. So, we're gonna be on the hunt for four notes for the remainder of the episode. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll be able to find them. Uh, I make no promises, but I really do hope we find them, man. What just happened? <laughs> like, we, we got blocked out at the same time we got in, but I'm just checking to make sure that we haven't missed any notes in here. I'm gonna be spending the rest of my life looking for these, aren't I? I could have sworn I got all four of these, but apparently not. Okay, so they were on the top of here the whole time, but <laughs> there's note number 100. You found all 100 notes on this world? 
Well done! <laughs> I don't care about the full damage now. But before we go... For one last time... I'm gonna transform into a pumpkin. And there's an important reason for that, so... Let's head back over to Mumbo's hut. Okay, Mumbo. Uh, I require your assistance. So, please uh, transform us back into pumpkin form. Alright, so let's head on out of here once again. And, well. So, you may have remembered that in previous worlds, we were able to um, leave and still retain our transformed form for at least a little bit. And the same rule applies for the pumpkin, so... There's a bit of stuff we've got to do in Gruntilda's lair, in this beautiful little pumpkin package. Okay, so, first job involves heading down all the way to the entrance, or rather, in this case, the exit. Hopefully we don't get killed by this gravestone, he's hot on our heels. Okay, we're alive, we're still good. So what we actually have to do now is walk along this uh, very narrow beam uh, without dying preferably it's very easy to die uh, in somewhere like this because you know there's some sharp turns and the pumpkin moves pretty when your legs fast don't work like they used to before <laughs> oh well there goes a the life ladies and gents okay Oh, I died Ooh. again. Slow and steady wins the race, ladies and gents. And we gotta be extra slow. And extra steady. To get through this. Easy. The lighting doesn't help with this, not gonna lie. I guess that's the point. Yeah, the pumpkin has a tendency to move faster than you want. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. Okay. Gotta correct myself. Get back on the right path. Come on. Okay, we're good, we're good. So, Brentilda's over here. Revolting Brentilda's bedroom has dirty undies hanging from the ceiling. Uh, my filthy bed gives me a rash. I never wash. I save my cash, says Grunty. Thank you for that. Uh, but as Brentilda was saying, she also has an eyeball flower grooming in a pot beside her bed. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous... Oh, okay. Alright, thanks for the uh, information, Brentilda. But there's this more interesting small passage. And as you can see... Cheeto isn't here. Cheeto, Baron Bird have found once more. Another spell they get. If one more page I see you turn, then Grunty shall Cheeto burn. Nasty witches, so code I shall tell. Enter red feathers on sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove. So, as you can see, Cheeto has just blessed us with another code, but we'll see the fruits of that in the next episode. So, thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and we're going to end here on a mysterious note. Peace, ladies and gents. <laughs>